It's the Bears and the Falcons on Sunday night primetime. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. CD, you look at the Falcons in this matchup. It's a relatively balanced offense. The next-gen stats kind of bear that out. What do you think they'll be looking to do in this one? I think it'll be exactly what you just talked about. They'll want to be balanced on offense, which means to them, they'll want everyone involved. See if they can get some one-on-ones in the passing. Halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, they find a way to win the game. Maybe leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. One play action, Fields. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the ball. After the sack on first down, Fields caught by Montgomery. Finding space at the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That'll go as a pickup of 32. Midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From the 50, here's Fields. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now we're going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Fields on first down. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Fields. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Leading him out from Texas A&M at quarterback, Kellen Mond. And when Kellen Mond left College Station, he held most of Texas A&M's passing records, total yards, passing yards, touchdowns, you name it. And then he went to the NFL draft in 2021 on the heels of being the 2021 Senior Bowl MVP. And the Vikings took him in the third round that year. NFL arm strength at his best when he loosens up in the pocket and lets his talents flow. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't pen... A good start to the drive. Ready? A first carry for Tyler Algier. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The Falcons at 500, three and three through the season's first six weeks. And they come in losers in two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around. I expect them to play really well here. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. I think they might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Mon looks to throw on first down. Throws right back to London, complete again. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the... 
Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Down Mon. Looking for London on the out route complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 20. On second down, a run with Patterson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try to run for it with Connor. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Hey. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that will be taken in by Ridley for a Falcon touchdown. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Falcons have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard, get that, and exceed it in this game. The numbers on the ground for Montgomery in last week's affair. 17 carries, 115 yards. I think he's exactly where he wants to be coming into a game, partner, because he has to still be riding the momentum from last week when he broke the century mark in rushing and had one of his best individual efforts of the season. I would expect that there's more from him on the way after that type of a game, and I know his teammates and coaches, they feel exactly the same way. They completed the screen on the perimeter. Now it's Fields. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down. The grass. Good spacing there offensively as they get the completion and the first down. Back to throw. Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. That was an interesting look there outside the pocket. I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of him, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Arnold Evacati able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed in there, and some teammates lost. <laughs> on second, here's Algier. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners. Mon to the air on first and 10. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. Here we go, here we go. As they are looking at a second and five situation. Here's Mon. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. Jonathan Greenard running in to pick up the sack. 
So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were all... As a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. So the game that, to be frank, is their play has really dropped off the last couple of weeks. And Brandon, I think there's a sense around the building that they can't let this losing streak get any worse than it is. Because if they were to lose here and fall below 500, then you're playing catch up the, and fall below 500, then you're playing catch up the rest of the way. They've got to take a stand and make it stop right now. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing. They were hoping that he was getting no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he'll find his man, puts it on the carpet, it's out. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. He's thankful right now for that sideline because it could have been a fumble loss instead just a fumble, though they will have to punt it down. You're right about that, but do you think there's ever been a player happy? Throwing on second and long, Mon. That's to the speedster, Alameda Zacchaeus. On the move past the 30. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Ready? They'll toss this out right for Connor. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Nine play. Mon going to throw it. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Two knocks this one through the post. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones. Let's go through goalposts. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Field's going to hold on to it. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's 32. Not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. On first down, here's Mon. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And give your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Connor up the middle. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the third. Parker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he's going to have a Falcons first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Short. Yeah, it was an easy 
pick up because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Algier now up the middle. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Now this is first and 10 at the 41. They run behind center with Connor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. From the 38, Mon. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third. Over what to do next. Fourth down, and the attention turns to Falcon kicker Young Way Koo. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now. Later on. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. On first down, it's Fields. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And it's knocked away and incomplete. On second and ten, Fields escaping the pressure right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Now the Bears will use their third and on the clock. Really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as we're able to get him down. The message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help him out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably want a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. 52 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. If they're going to try to complete this comeback, they need more runs like that from him because until that point, he's been virtually shut down. On second and 12, Mon. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40. Be a little bit more precise go, throwing it. He don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Third down from the gun, it's Mon. Open then there is Patterson complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 21. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. There are a lot of tough routes to try and cover. When you see a runner come out of the backfield and run this angle route, looks like they're going to the flat. First and 10, it's Patterson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their, when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Now an option play on second down. And he'll be brought down here at the three yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. Mon now off of play action. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. It'll go as a second and goal. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. On second and goal, Mon 
And that will be taken in by Ridley for a Falcon touchdown. A great effort there. With his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Falcons take the opening kickoff of the answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because... You... And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted. Field. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Second and eight. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. From the 27, Mon. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the tackle, defense. Tags get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Mon looks to throw. Over the middle, caught by London. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at He'll drop to throw. He'll dump this one off to Connor. Touchdown! From three yards out. And the Falcons take a three-touchdown lead. Didn't have anything downfield. Swung it out to the flat. He did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators. Onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand much time so they can get two more possessions. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. They'll get three as the... Second down, Montgomery. On well, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 43 yards, 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine. Seven. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now it's Fields. And that is incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best offenses is certainly bringing it again this week. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will stay at three possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about giving some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. And they're going to get this to about the 44 yard line. Well, we may be looking at the scoreboard. This offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down. Even with a three score, they don't want to fall victim to it themselves. 
So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Tap five, here's second and five. On the counter, it's Connor. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Higher game and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Third down, here's Patterson. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game is not... On first and 10 is counter. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. This will be caught inside the 10. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Now Mon. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown Atlanta. Kellen Mond. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Fields on first down. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six. Across. Play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, back door them, and that time, we're well for a solid game. Things on third down tonight, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and four. Back to throw, Fields. He's got it. The tight end, Allen. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to third down conversion. On first down, Fields. Caught by Montgomery. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Oh, we're always talking about the athleticism we see from these guys on the field. How about off this pass rush and got back to tackle the running back? That's great scouting and great reaction. To throw again on second down. Fields. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. In this runaway contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try. Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said. And, and they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Fields. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Fields. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked up by Richie Graham. And the Falcons are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. This spot the fourth quarter with that deficit.
Joseph had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against Nickel. Dow hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Take the field. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down into first and ten. Now a give running left with Montgomery. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. To throw his fields. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Get into the block a little bit more effectively. They didn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This one left side caught by Patterson. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult on field. And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. On third down, it's counter. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 78 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he... Here's Algier again on second down. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at about the Bears' 20 yards. They'll try to run for him with counter. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Holding offense. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Kuhn knocks this one through the post. And that will extend their lead even further. That means they have to run extra plays harder to move it. Fields on third down. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but it was beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. But the Bears look to get this one back, and indeed they did. They get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Third and long, it's Fields. And this incomplete, oh my. He might have been celebrating. And an inability to advance the ball from the other. And here we go on fourth down, Fields. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And too much juice, it'll be out of bounds, incomplete. The Falcons in victory formation as they take an knee. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence.